Christina McCartney says every day is a living nightmare. She lost her two youngest children last year, and her now 15-year-old son is charged with smothering them. My son Nick was definitely a dream child. He was the most helpful, most exciting, full of life type of child. His siblings were his life. Nick and Desiree were very close. He would sit and read books to them. He would sing to them. My daughter Desiree passed away on May 7th of 2017. I was getting off work. When I first walked in at the home, my son had a hold of my daughter. He says to me, Mom, something's not right. Desiree's not breathing. When the paramedics got there, they rushed her to the hospital. I asked Nick what happened. The only thing he said to me was that she was throwing up. I thought that my daughter Desiree had passed due to a medical condition. Nathaniel was my ex-boyfriend's son. Three months later, Nathaniel passed away on July 20th of 2017. I was in my room getting dressed. My son was saying something was wrong with Nathaniel and that he was breathing weird. When I picked him up, there was not any movement, like it was just picking up a baby doll. Within a few hours, Nathaniel had passed. The coroner said that it could not be determined. The state police questioned my son, and according to them, Nick confessed to harming the children. He indicated that the children passed due to suffocation. According to the police officers, my son expressed to them that he ended the child's lives because he wanted them to end the hell that they were living in. Nicholas was arrested three months ago. The current charges on him are two murders. The prosecutor just wants to throw my son in jail. And no one is standing up for Nicholas, so I have to. I want people to understand that my son is not a monster. OK. Um, Christina, uh, first, before I say another thing, let me say I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Uh, you've lost two children here uh, very unexpectedly. and. I, I can't even imagine what that must be like for you. And, and now you have a, a third child that's in jail and has been taken away from you. And you have another daughter, and that daughter has been removed from your home, correct? Yes. And why has the daughter been removed from your home? Both children <clears throat> were removed from my home after Nathaniel had passed away. Right. Um, the Department of Child Services put my youngest child into foster care, right. and my son was placed with my brother. But now that they feel like the, the crime has solved and they have a confession yes. from your son, the children have not been returned. I have completed everything that the department has requested of me regarding therapy and treatment, but my daughter still has not been returned to my care.